the dental kitchen and this is episode one and um, I would like to welcome you and we would like to make a video um, about cooking and baking German food of course um, every week so today we will start with an apple pie a really traditional cake in Germany and there are many different ways and I would like to show you a way where you just need three ingredients which is really amazing and it's super easy and you can do it in a heartbeat and it will taste first you need a bowl to put all your ingredients in so and then you will start out with 300 grams of flour which is two and a fourth cup so you put it all nicely in your bowl and then you need 150 grams of sugar or three-fourths of a cup and you put that into the mixing bowl and what we do is we use a wooden spoon and we just go a little bit like this we do not need a nice mixer uh, it's all be done by hand you know authentic German we do a lot by hand still so and then the third ingredient is butter 250 grams of butter or one cup of butter so and it's at room temperature so it's really nice and soft this is really important that it's room temperature so you can really work with it otherwise it doesn't work it will just take forever so and those are your ingredients isn't that awesome so you put your butter in the bowl and then you get a little bit dirty so put the wooden spoon to the side and then you take your flat iron, which I washed before I start. So and you, then you just try and mix the butter, the flour and the sugar together until you have a really, really nice dough. And I will show you, just go like this. If you really don't like to touch it, um, you can either way put a glove on so you don't get your hands dirty or you can use like a mixer but it's really really better if you do it by hand because um, then you can really see how everything goes together and you can really feel when the dough is done so let me just mix that up a little bit more see this it just goes together really really well you see when the butter is at room temperature it goes together really really nicely and it's kind of like um has a kind of a texture of a sand so um and that is what's so special about that dough so because you just have those three ingredients and later on when you, when you um bite a piece it, it is just really like um kind of like sand and it is really really delicious so you see it doesn't even take long to mix it and then you have one nice big round ball of dough there you go that's your dough that's all you have to do so the next step is I go and wash my hands so now um, I wash my hands they're clean again and you can easily touch your little bowl of dough and you see it is really fat it's just because there's a cup of butter in it but who doesn't like butter so the next step is you take some cling wrap mine is still from christmas hooray. and you just lay it out flat in front of you and what you're going to do you just put your bowl of dough right in it and you just wrap it around it because that nicely dough needs to cool for one hour in the fridge so this is really important otherwise um, the dough the dough needs to get a little bit hard because right now it's really really soft because of the room temperature by um, butter and um, it needs to get a little bit more harder so you can really work with it nicely and it bakes really really good because it gets kind of like a crusty and sandy kind of really amazing crust so yeah we just keep that in the fridge quick and then i will show you what you have to do with the apples so now the dough is in the fridge for one hour so what you have to do you have to turn on your oven 
um, 355 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. It depends on if you're Germany or in the States. So in the next step we're doing, you need two bowls. I just used the one I had just to, to make my dough and then I have a little one because what you do now, you use your apples. I got, this time I got Golden Delicious. So Brieburn works really good, but they didn't have some. So that's the one I use. You also can use um, Granny Smith, whatever you prefer. It, it's better to use an apple, a little bit of a sour um, a taste because we will put cinnamon and sugar in it. So um, there, it will get sweetened a little bit so you can use a more sour apple so what you do the only thing you need a knife and an apple so the way i do it is i just go around it and peel the apples and i got told this is a really German way to do it and you just go all the way around it let's see if i can make it in one piece not almost so you see, then the apple is peeled, and then you just cut it halfway open, take the steam out, and then you take the inner thing, I have no idea what it's called, um, out, and then you just slice it, and then you go to your second bowl, and then you just chip it like this. I normally take two or three, it always depends. Um, so, and this should be like this. You see, so this should be um, kind of small, but still not too small, you know, but, but not big chunks. So, and you just continue doing that. I have six apples here, and let's see how it will look after six apples, how many we have. cinnamon and sugar and you just pour it over your apples just like that and then you just mix it with a spoon so you, until all the apples are coated with the cinnamon and the sugar all right you see nicely done they're all coated make sure you don't use too much sugar and cinnamon because um, when you put it in the oven later it gets kind of like the sauce and if you have it too, and if you have too much um, so, uh, sugar and cinnamon in it sorry um, then it gets too saucy on the cake and that doesn't taste good at all so about five tablespoons of sugar is more than it you see so they're all nicely coated and now you're all done. The only thing we have to do, we all have to put it in the springform pan. So let me just go to the fridge and get um, the cake out. Okay, I got my dough out of the fridge and you also need a springform pan. I use the middle size one. And uh, we also need a little bit of butter to smooth out your springform pan. If you would like, you can also use the butter spray you can get at the stores. Um, I would recommend butter, not oil, because we have butter in the dough already, so it's the same um, um, texture and um, the same. So, I will just put a little bit of butter in my spring pan, and then I just go around it so it doesn't stick to the pan. Just like this, and don't forget to do all the way up to the top, not just the bottom, the crease too, and all the way on top. And you see, you do not really need a lot. 
So. Alright, sounds good. So now let's see, everything is shiny and full of butter. So, now what you do, you just put that over here so you have more space. There you go. So you use your dough. So what you do with it, you take it out of your clean wrap. And let's say you take um, that much away from it, like a, what is it? Uh, yeah, just, just a little bit, you take a little bit away from it. So, and then you just press it between your fingers like this. And then you just press it down. You do not yet have to roll it out. You just push it down like this. And the dough is kind of still hard when it comes out of the fridge. So, but as soon as you start working with it because of your body heat, um, it gets smooth really quickly. So, and you just push it down with your fingers, just like this. And let me take a little bit more. You see, you can just smash it really nicely. So, you and you, you see, you just go around like this. Let me just do that quick. So, and you see, this is the bottom of your dough. So now we do the, we do the side. So the side goes like. Exactly like the bottom, you just take a little piece and you just press it on the side and you're just connecting it with the bottom, you see? Just like this, and that's it. And you go all the way around it. is over there so I just straighten it out a little bit but it doesn't need to be perfect it's perfect the way it is so I push it all down again and just make sure you connect the sides with the bottom really nicely all right that's it and now you take the bowl with the apples and the cinnamon and the sugar and you just pour all of that goodness straight into your spoon from pan. So, and you just oh, you missed cutting of apples. There you go. So, and you just smooth it out, just like this. And you see, we use just enough apples to cover, and it's the um, the sides are um, high enough so the apples are inside the dough. So what you do with the little piece we took away? So you just take little pieces off and you smash them in your hands, so they're kind of thin. If they break the part, it's totally fine. Because what you do, you just put them on top of it. So we do not cover um, the whole cake, like you do with a lot of cakes, you know, you have like that um, special design on it. I mean, if you would like, you can do that, go ahead. Um, I just do it like this, you see? I just put it all over so you... I think it looks really nice when you um, um, serve the cake to your guests and they still can see the apples so not everything is covered and some pieces are a little bit thicker, some pieces are a little bit thinner. I really like it that way. But it's totally up to you. If you would like to make like a special pattern, you can go ahead and do it. I mean you have enough dough. That is totally fine. I just like to do it like this. So those little things you can just really adjust for your own, own taste or what you like. Some people there are just like, no, everything needs to be straight and everything needs to be um, 
in a row. Go ahead, do that. Totally fine. I preheated my oven 180 degrees or 355 Fahrenheit. And you leave the cake in the oven for around an hour. You always have to check on it if it's um, golden brown. And then you take it out. You will see it. It will be nicely done and your house will smell so delicious. So it always depends um, where you live, um, how long it takes. Sometimes it takes an hour, sometimes it takes 80 minutes, you know, so it depends. So there you go. There's your apple pie. So I put that in the oven now for an hour, 180 Celsius or 355 Fahrenheit. All right, see you in an hour. So you see my um, cake is golden brown. And what we do now, um, I just go with a knife around it to loosen it up from the spring foam pan. You just go like this, all the way around it. And you see I cooled it enough so I can really touch it. It's just a little warm, not hot. And then, you just open here the spring foam pan and there you go there's your goodness of pie so i'm just put that to the side and let me show you this is your nicely apple pie bon appetit so i hope you liked that video and um please don't forget to subscribe it and to like it and um we will try to do a video every week so be surprised what will be next see you then thank you bye